Morgan Stanley is about to come out. What are you expecting there? We saw the Goldman numbers, and it was largely the impact of a quiet investment banking season. Yes, I mean, thanks. Will we see similar situation at Morgan? I, I think you will, because deal making is a big part of their business. Yeah. Um, and let's face it, you know, the Fed took the punch bowl away. Rates are up, and financing costs are up. Um, but I think that also bodes well for down the line. There's a lot of pent up demand. As soon as we know where the Fed's going to stop raising interest rates, there's a lot of companies that are going to do deals. So I think, you know, when we look at the forecasting, that'll be good for the Goldmans of the world. It'll be good for Morgan Stanley. Now, Morgan Stanley does have an advantage over Goldman Sachs because they have a huge wealth management business, yeah, that's uh, the right. kind of business that I'm in. Um, and that's 50 percent of the revenue, and that's very consistent revenue. And with markets going up this year, as you just mentioned, that's very good for their businesses as it is for mine. Would you buy tech here? I know you've been bullish on this market, and you've been right, but the Nasdaq is up 16 percent year to date. Would you be putting new money to work there now, given these yeah. valuations? Good question. I don't love tech. Uh, tech has had a magnificent bounce this year, but we're still well off the highs in technology. And it kind of is reminiscent back when the tech bubble burst back in 2000. The Nasdaq had magnificent rallies, a couple of bull markets, in fact, on the way, on its way down even further. So I think valuations, if you look at the, the soup, the big eight, mega cap eight stocks, yeah. they trade at like 28 times forward earnings. That's not cheap. I wouldn't get suckered back into that trade. And I think that's where a lot of money is going to funnel back in here.